Hello, in this video we're going to talk about how to create a custom course using the School Edition. To get started, click on Courses on the left hand side and then click Create New Course. You'll create a name for your new custom course and then add an optional description, select the language and then choose either a grade or a grade range. And then you can also select an image. Once you're ready, click Create Course. And then you'll be brought back to the course's main page. And to get started adding lessons to your course, you'll click on the course that you just added and click View Edit Lessons. Now you're ready to get started and can add your first lesson. To do so, click on the plus sign, and then you can select the lesson type. So you can filter by typing lessons, common lessons, spelling lessons, or you can view all. And then you can scroll down to see all of the available options. Right now I'm going to start with a typing lesson. And I'm going to choose Practice Individual Characters because that's a great introductory lesson for typing. So I'll choose the lesson name and then I'll enter the lesson text. And then you get to choose the lesson objective. So do you want the students to simply complete the lesson or do you want them to meet performance goals? There's also a few lesson settings. So would you like to disable backspace? Do you want to block students on error? Does the lesson include meaningful words or does this lesson contain normal words that can be spoken by a voice narrator? Is this lesson a placement test? And then select the performance goal, so the score and the time limit, and then you can also add instructions. So you will enter your instructions and then you can also select a character to highlight on the keyboard. And then if you wanted to include either an image or a YouTube video, you would enter the URL for that here. And you could also choose an audio file to upload as well, but those are optional. And then click Save. And then once you're done with this lesson, you can either click Save or click Save and add another. Right now, I will just click Save. And then if I go back, then I'm ready to add an additional lesson. Now you can continue adding new lessons. So to do so, click on the plus icon again and then select the lesson type. This time I'm going to select the standard typing engine and then enter the lesson name and then enter your lesson text. You can also select this box if you would like the lesson text to be dynamic or you can add alternative lesson text. And then again, you'll have the same lesson objectives and lesson settings to choose from. You can select the performance goals if it's a performance-based lesson. So you would select the goal speed, the minimum speed, the minimum accuracy, the score, and the time limit. And then again, you can add instructions if you would like, and then click Save. Now I will add one more typing lesson. I'm, this time I'm going to add a game. So I will select the game type and then enter the lesson text. And then again, you can choose from the lesson objectives, the lesson settings, the performance goals, and you can add optional instructions. And now I will go back to all of my lessons. I'm going to change the name of this section 
to typing section and then I'm going to add a new section and make this a vocab and spelling section. And now I have two sections. I can see my typing lessons here, and then now I am ready to add new vocabulary and spelling lessons to my custom course. Okay, now I am ready to add my first vocabulary and spelling lesson. So again, I'm going to click on the plus sign. This time I'm going to click spelling, and then for my first lesson, I'm going to choose spelling definitions. So again, I can enter the name for the lesson, choose the score, the lesson objectives, and then now I'm ready to add my words. So I can either search the glossary for existing words, or if the words aren't already in the glossary, then I can add them myself. So I'm going to search for my first word. It looks like it's already in the glossary. So I just need to select the definition that I want to use for this lesson. And then now that it shows in green, I can see that it was imported successfully. So I will move on to my second word. It looks like this one's not already in the glossary, so I'm just gonna go ahead and add it myself. So first you'll enter the form, so you will just enter it with the syllables with an asterisk, separating the syllables. You can enter the phonetic pronunciation if you would like, and you can also record yourself saying the word. Predict. Predict. And then it'll show you what it sounds like. And then you can also add your definition. So choose the part of speech. You can also upload an image if you would like. And then enter a short definition and an example sentence. And then you will also record yourself saying the example sentence. She can predict who will win the game. She can predict who will win the game. And then again, it'll read back your sentence to you. And then you can also add a clue. And then click Save. And now I can see that both words have been added successfully. Guess. Predict. She can predict who will win the game. So I'm just going to go ahead and click save and then go back to my lessons. Now I'm ready to add another lesson. So again, I will click the plus sign, select spelling. This time I'm going to do spelling dictation. So again, I can adjust the name of the lesson, the score, the lesson objectives. And then this time for lesson words, I can just import them from the previous lesson. So I will click here, select the previous lesson, and now my words have been added. I can select if I would like there to be hints available. And then this time I'm going to click save and add another. And now I can immediately add the next lesson. So I'm going to go back to spelling. This time I will do spelling jumble. Again, I can adjust the name of the lesson, the score, the lesson objectives. I'm going to import the words from a previous lesson again. I can see that they have been added successfully because they are in green. I'm going to add two hints and then click save. Yes. And now I can click back and view all of the lessons that I have added so far. Now I'm going to add one last lesson and this one's going to be a video. So again, I will click on the plus sign. This time I'm going to click common and then select the video player. Then I will click change video and now I can choose from any of the videos in all of our Ed Club managed courses. So for this one I'm going to select the category spelling and then I can scroll through all of the videos that are available. 
select the video that I want to choose and then I can adjust the score and then the video settings. So can students skip the video? Do you want to start the video muted? Do you want to autoplay the video on launch? And then you can choose between two video themes, dark and white. And then once you're finished, just click save. Now I'm going to go back to all of my lessons and we'll take a look at a few cool features. So I'm going to go back to the typing section and you can click on any lesson and then over here you'll be able to see the score and if it's performance based or completion based and you can also try any lesson. So I'll click try lesson. Now I can see the instruction slide that I made. And then I can complete the lesson as if I were a student. Next, I'll move on and try one of the vocabulary and spelling lessons. Yes. So they'll be able to hear the word. If they want to hear it again, they can click on this speaker. Yes. They'll see the part of speech the definition, and they can also hear the definition. To suppose or think something. And then they'll have one or two example sentences and they can hear those as well. I can't begin to guess how you might be feeling. Predict. And then next, this is the word that I added. It was not already in the glossary, so it'll show the part of speech, and then you can listen to the definition or the example sentence. She can predict who will win the game. And then once it is finished, just close out. And you can also click on course near the top left corner and you can view a glossary. So all of the words that are in this course, or you can click properties and here you can change the name of the course, the description, language, keyboard, whether you want them to use both hands or just one, and then the grade or the grade range. You can also duplicate the course if you would like. And then here you can change up the view for the lessons. You can also, right now lesson four is selected, so I can also move this to the typing section if I wanted to. And then if you ever wanted to delete a lesson, you would just hover over it and then click the trash can icon, or you can click here and duplicate a lesson and now there are two of them. You can also click add filters. So if you didn't want to see any of the videos, you could unselect the video and now that lesson is hidden. And you can also click print and then it will generate a PDF. And once you open it up, you'll see a summary of all of the lessons in this course. So the name of the lessons, the content of the lesson, and then the goal speed, minimum speed, minimum accuracy, and the score. Now that I have finished creating my course, we can go over how you would assign this course to your class. So I'm going to back out of here, and I'm back at courses. And when you're in the courses section, you'll see that it's divided into my courses, which are custom courses that you've created, and then the Ed Club courses, which are courses that are created and managed by Ed Club. So I can click on my course, and then click assign to class and select the classes that I would like to assign this course to. And now if I log in as a student, I'll be able to view this course and start working on it. <laughs> 